This pandemic has shown us creativity cannot be stopped. Artists of all disciplines have found new and innovative ways to work on their craft and reach audiences anyway during this pandemic. For instance, one artist in Burbank had a big idea that forced her to think quite small. <laughs> <laughs> and our Terry Lynn Wagner joins us now from Burbank to tell us more. Good morning to you. Good morning. That's right. You know, galleries and museums all across the city are closed, of course. But Stephanie Gerard's driveway is open, and that is where you will find the art candy machine. For $5, I've already put in my $5, you can get an original signed work of art. This is a tiny canvas, so cute, by Mimi Rossi of a little dog in a bike basket. Stephanie hopes that the art in this machine will just bring smiles to people's faces, and she also hopes people will want to find out more about the art artists and support them in other ways. Take a look. Money goes in, art pops out. That's the concept behind this vending machine conceived and curated by artist Stephanie Girard. Stephanie calls herself an artist with a repurpose. Um, funny enough, my accountant gave me some floppy disks. Often using recycled or reclaimed materials as canvases for her creativity. Inspired by Artemat's recycled cigarette machines, she decided to open her own version, repurposing this candy machine. This artist made all different bugs. And asking local artists to create dozens of mini masterpieces to stock it. And since my driveway gets lots of traffic, I figured it would be a safe place to pop it out there in, in this current time. Her driveway isn't so much the draw as her fence, which she also repurposed into a neighborhood gallery. When the pandemic began, she wanted to do something to help her community cope and realized the answer was in her own front yard at the corner of Oak in Fairview. I was like, this is what I can do. I have a fence. Let's make a gallery. She began hanging these plastic pockets bearing the words, your art here slide it into the pocket. Some comes from neighborhood kids, and some comes from fellow artists like Helena Yulene. That's my cat. Whose work is also featured in the art candy machine. How about the comet? That's my favorite. When Stephanie first told her about the idea, she was instantly intrigued. Well, knowing Stephanie, I thought it was probably something really interesting. Her contribution? Painting in small mint cans, a natural fit for a candy machine. Each piece costs five dollars, and the artist gets 100 percent of the proceeds. It's part of Stephanie's mission to get people to buy art from living artists. And while five bucks won't pay a lot of bills, she hopes people will be inspired by their petite purchase to check out the artist's social media pages and see what else they have to offer. Her project has another purpose too. With galleries still closed, she hopes the machine inspires artists to keep creating, knowing there's a corner of Burbank where their work can be seen. Creating art is imperative, and it really gives us a person a sense of empowerment and, and control when so many things we don't control. Just by making something, you can have a certain sense of satisfaction and completion and accomplishment. A lot more than anyone would ever expect out of a vending machine. I just want to show you guys a little bit of this neighborhood gallery. They have more than a hundred pieces here now, and of course she's got more of these pockets available so anyone can come by and leave their own artwork or their kids' artwork. Some of the pieces are also from artists who are in the vending machine, and those have a little sign here that says if you like this, you can go to the art candy machine for more from that artist. <laughs> the art candy machine. I love it. What are residents saying about all the artwork on the fence? I know. Oh, people love it. She gets quite a crowd here when families are walking by. There's also a little free library. So this is really, this corner of Oak and Fairview has become really a community destination. People love to take a look at the art and talk about it. And as I said, lots of artwork from kids. A lot of that is actually COVID-related. Kids saying we miss school and everybody stay safe. So it's really been a nice bonding experience for the neighborhood. And safe. And the social distancing safe. Oh, thank you, Thank Geraldine. you, Tara Lynn. Artists we, always we find a way.